Hey there veggies. So in this video I'm just going to give a quick insight into how to farm resources. So for my uh, let's play I've said I would sort of farm resources on my own. Then it occurred to me they've changed Trove or at least I think they have. The resources don't seem to be as widespread as they used to be. So I'm, I just want to quickly show you how to get most the most common resources. So first things first let's start with the ores. So, if I look at my bag, uh, the uh, warp seed, the shape stone. So I've shown you the warp seed already. Basically you can get them from killing mobs and cutting down grass and little trees and plants. The shape stone you find on the ground, it can be found anywhere. But I tend to find, it's easier to find in caverns like this one. So if I drop down into here and have a quick look around. Hopefully we'll find some more, but not only shape stone, also the higher tier ones. We'll probably not find any of the gold one. I can't remember the name right now. Oh, Infin Infinium I think it is. But we might find blue stuff and we might find... We might find a blue one and we might find... Um, the green one. Oh, but here's some, uh, actually here's some shape stone. And there's also a mushroom in the corner there. So I, I honestly, I think caverns are the best way to go. There's normally a few natural ones that you can use to uh, have a look around. And this one's quite a big cavern. So there'll be more ships done than if so. I'm just going to start clearing the blocks with my main weapon. See if I can get to it all. I can also take it all with my laser. I'm not giving up yet. Hoping there'll be some more. Don't like it, right? So that's oh, well, there we go. Got some more here. So that's basically the R's. You can find it on the ground on the surface, but tend to find it underground, or at least I have in my experience. Tend to find it underground. So I'll just take these and we'll look for something else. Let's just use my uh, oh, got it. So mushrooms. Mushrooms are found on the ground and are found on the ground. Uh you basically just shoot them. And you'll get chunks of mushroom. Bottles. Bottles are a weird one. Oh look, we found some of the gold stuff. I've got to take this. I will just use the laser this time though, because it's uh it's quite tough. See, caverns are really the best place to go. Excuse me for being so slow, it's uh I've only got the the basic stuff for the minute. As you saw it's the it's a brand new character. Right, I'm not gonna uh I'm gonna leave it. It hurts, but I'm gonna leave the rest of it I think. Right. So let's get out of this cave. And find the exit. So bottles are a bit weird. Bottles actually come in the form of bottle plants. So they just grow on the side and a bit like the grass. And you just cut them down. So what have we got so far? We've got, got a couple of bottles. We've got some enchanted wood. We've got some bones, which you get from got skeletons. And these are all sort of used in crafting when I press the right button. So the crafting bench uses shape stone, which I've got plenty of now. The origin portal which takes you back to the start of the world, which that tooltip says. Bottles and warp seeds, bombs, promoto flames, and shape stone. Useful. I'm going to do a video about bombs soon because they, they have some uses that people might not be aware of. Mag Rider is essentially it's not a mount, it lets you follow train tracks basically. And it takes a fair bit to craft. Uh, you've just seen me collect some of that. Cupcakes are. I'm sure they just grow in the wild. Fairy dust you get from fairies, and shadow wood grows in the wilds, and warp seed you get from the trees. And then shadow keys. You get these from completing dungeons. But let's go and find some more stuff. So, you know how to collect blocks. Blocks are easy. You just uh, shoot any of the blocks in the in the uh, world. Oh, can't get up that way. 
I not get up? God. You can't jump for you, I know that. Um, right, I might have to. Um, this is why I want jump on my uh, gear. Let's take some of these blocks out. It's a problem with a uh, cavern hunting. If you forget which way you came in, getting back out can be tricky. You can always dig up, so to speak, which is what I'm doing now. Right, let's uh, see if I can get up there. Yeah, oh yeah, straight out the top. Didn't even need the air wall. Right, so there's an example of the bottle. There's a bottle. Two. You just shoot them. These fairies also are the ones that drop the uh, fairy dust. Let's see if I'll get any. Um, I didn't get any then, but I got some warp seeds, so we'll have that other bottle. Um, you also, when you are just mining, or you can be using your laser, or you can just be shooting the uh, the ground, you will get a chest, and you can see it's on my hotkey four. Show you it in the bag as well. So in my bag, there's this miner's trove. When you're mining. So collecting any kind of block, you have a random chance of getting one of these. When you put it on your hotkey and you use it, you get a random item. So I got some shape stones there. So that can be a, a good way of getting uh, some of the blocks as well. Just through random mining. So primordial uh, flame or whatever it's called. They are found usually with other ores. So say you go and find a big chunk of the uh, infinite ore or uh, some of the shape stone or a fromacite ore. Usually you'll find maybe a primordial flame next to it. And we've just found some surface uh, shaped stone. Maybe this will be an example of there being some uh, flame stone next to it. This is however a, um, a low level area. It's the level 1 to 3 area. So the uh, I think the ores change Depending on whatever you're in, I think if you go in a higher level area, you've got more chance at better ores. But you can get everything you need. And as you can see, this uh, also this ice pit gives you the blue blocks. Those fairies! Gained one warp seed from that, let's kill this other fairy. So the other um, useful item is um, Flux, I've spoke about before. Flux you get from either getting rid of your items in the forge, so basically if you get some repeated items, you craft a forge, you can actually destroy the item in it and it'll replace it with Flux. You can then use Flux to upgrade other items and buy items from other people. So I've got some Flux, this is what it looks like. You don't get much of it for getting rid of items. But the other thing is, when you go up with your mouse over an item, you'll see about the collections. And I've got a video about collections. It's your choice whether you put it in your collection or you get flux out of it. But at some point, you're going to want to upgrade your item. So at some point in the game, you're going to need some flux. So I found some more rot. I can dig it with my laser. Or I can do this, for example. Try and get it quickly, and I'll also get some other rows at the same time. You still get the chest by shooting the R, so you don't have to use your laser to get the miners' chests. So in that little little session of hunting and uh, mining and what else? Whatever else. We've managed to get quite a few ores. And quite a few different items. So if I look in my bag, I've got 16 from a site, 114 shaped stone, which I had none before. 81 seeds, 5 bottles, 15 infinium. 
So we're getting well on our way to be able to craft an arse, so I've got tons of resources now. And these are the ones you get with your starter kit, so I think you get 500 of each with your starter kit, so you can see it's, it's quite easy to get them anyway. So that's how you basically get the basic cars and the basic items. I hope this helps, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.